Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we have a new top 10, this time the multiple rocket launchers. Many of you asked for this list, but I have to admit it's not my favorite kind of machine, so I hope the list will be okay, but we can check it at the end. So please watch the full video and we can start with the Chinese SR5. It's being produced from 2013. The weight of this machine is 25 tons. It has a 385 kilowatt engine and uh, it can reach a speed of 85 kilometers and a range of 600 kilometers. And the SR5 can uh, fire 40 122 millimeters rockets or 12 220 millimeters rockets or a combination of those two. They can reach a maximum distance of 70 kilometers and the rate of fire is very fast, just 30 seconds for the 220 mm and 20 seconds for the smaller rounds. The reload time is 10 minutes. At the ninth position we have the Indian Pinaka. It's being produced from 1998, but the last upgrade was made just this year, the MK2. The cost is very cheap. Okay, maybe it's a lot of money, but for this kind of machine it's cheap, believe me. The weight is 25 tons, uh, we don't have information about the engine, but we know the speed is 80 km per hour and it can reach a range of 800 km. The Pinaka can fire 12 214 mm rockets in, with different warheads. The maximum range for now is 75 km, but the 120 km version is under development with a rate of fire of uh, 12 rounds in 40 seconds and a reload time of 90 minutes. The next machine of the list is the Astros Tube from Brazil. It's being produced from 1981, but the latest version also this time is being delivered just now, in 2018. It's called the Astros 2020. The weight of this machine is quite light compared to the others. It's just 10 tons. We have a 209 kilowatts engine and uh, it can reach a speed of 90 kilometers with a range of about 500 kilometers. For this machine we have uh, a good combination of rockets in uh, different sides from 127 millimeters to 300 millimeters and even a very long range missile. The standard range of the rockets is 80 km, but the missile can reach 300 km. The rate of fire is 4 rounds in 20 seconds, with a reload time of 7 minutes. And now the number 7, another Chinese machine, the WS-1. It's being produced from 1990 and the latest upgrade was made just 9 years later, the WS-1B. The weight of this machine is 26 tons with a 375 kilowatt engine. It can reach a speed of 80 km per hour and a range of 600 km. The WS-1 can fire 8 302 mm rockets with different warheads and the standard range is 100 km, while the extended range 180 km. The rate of fire is 8 rounds in 1 minute, while the reload time is just 9 minutes. At the number 6 we find the Israeli Lynx. This one is being produced from 2003, the weight is 25 tons and with an engine of 268 kilowatts. The speed of this machine is 90 km per hour with a huge range, 1000 km. Also the Lynx can fire different kind of rockets from 122 mm to 200 mm Depending on uh, the rocket dimension, the range can be uh, 150 km maximum. The rockets are guided by a uh, GPS. The rate of fire is uh, 8 rounds in 50 seconds and the reload time only 7 minutes.
And now we can start the top 5 with the BM27 Uragan from Russia. It's being produced from 1975, it seems old, but be careful, the latest one, the Uragan 1M, was made just in 2016. The weight is 20 tons, it has a 368 kW engine and it can reach a speed of 70 km. Also this time the range is 1000 km. The Uragan can fire 3220mm rockets or 12300mm rockets. The maximum range is 120km, guided by GLONASS. The rate of fire is 12 rounds in 50 seconds and the reload time 6 minutes. The fourth machine is the Polonets from Belarus. It's being produced from 2014, it's a very new machine and the latest upgrade was just made in 2017, the Polonets M. The weight is quite high, 31 tons, it's powered by a 368 kW engine and it can reach a speed of 70 km, also this time the range is 1000 km. It can fire 8 300mm rockets with different warheads, of course, and the ordinary range is 50 km, while the extended range 200 km, and the M20, the ballistic missile, can reach 300 km. The rate of fire is 8 rounds in 50 seconds, and the reload time 8 minutes. And we are finally in the top 3! We start with the Russian Tornado. It's being produced from 2007 and the latest version, the Tornado S, is being produced from 2016. The weight of the Tornado is 24 tons, it's powered by a 268 kW engine, it can reach a speed of 90 km and a range of 1000 km. The main armament of the Tornado is 6 300mm rockets. The range is about 70 km for the standard version, 90 for the extended range and 120 for the very long range version, guided by GLONASS. The rate of fire is 6 rounds in 20 seconds, the reload time just 8 minutes. The number 2 is the American M270. It's being produced from 1980, but the latest upgrade was made just a few years ago in 2015, the M270A1. The cost is quite high, 2.3 million. The weight is just 24 tons. It's powered by a 368 kW engine. The speed is 60 km per hour with a range of only 480 km. The main weapon can be 12 227mm rockets or two missiles. The rocket range goes from 32 km to 70 km, while the missile's range is 300 km. The rate of fire is 12 rounds in 40 seconds and the reload time only 3 minutes. It's really fast. And finally the number 1, the WS-2 from China, again. It's being produced from 2004, but the latest version, the WS-2D, was made in 2017, just one year ago. The weight of this baby is 30 tons, it's powered by a 385 kW engine, and it can reach a speed of 80 km per hour for a range of 800 km. The main weapon is 6 400mm rockets, they are huge. The range of these missiles can be from 100 km to 400 km. And not only it can fire rockets, but even UAVs. The rate of fire is 6 rounds in 40 seconds and the reload time 12 minutes. As always, I would like to remind you to leave a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe, and you know the usual stuff. And welcome to the end card. Important, remember you can vote for the next top 10 clicking in the right up corner. I really hope you liked this list. 
as I said in the first part of the video it's not my kind of weapon so I'm really not sure about this list I hope you will leave me uh, many comments telling me where I'm right where I'm wrong and where I can improve this list and see you in the next video bye bye